it seems as though we're taught to almost disregard our emotions or at least kind of push them to the side because they're too busy focused on business or hustling and you know moving forward this is what it looks like you know a lot of us are, are businessmen and you know i think a lot of it for me is our worlds are going so fast everything's happening so rapidly and there's a phrase that we use in our business and particular with with our sales cycle is sometimes you got to slow down to speed up and i think that that intention that you're talking about that intentionality it's so easy to to you know be on your know, grind grind hustle hustle grind grind hustle hustle well i'm feeling something i i don't really have time to unpack that right now because i gotta i gotta do this i gotta do that i gotta accomplish this i gotta sell that i gotta you know make sure this person's served to make sure this person's taken care of and it's it's always pushing the ball down the court and you don't have time to deal with these emotions good or bad really and so it's almost like we've been um conditioned over time to just kind of let those things fall by the wayside and just focus on what's important to us right now then you go through this go through this go through this and then all of a sudden oh man that that really affected me like I, I should probably hash that out that nah, just bury it let's go and do this and do it and, and it's just the world that we live in but sometimes you have to be intentional to slow down and say hey what's the exit strategy <laughs> if i just keep bottling this stuff up if i just keep pushing this stuff under the rug you know what's what what's going to happen and it's never going to end well. I think we have these ideas of certain people that wear their emotions on their on their chest. Like, that's not me. I, I'm not that guy. And it's somewhere trying to figure out that that sweet that sweet spot in the middle. I think um, where you can experience the emotions and use the emotions, uh, but not be on the extreme one way or the other. Any repressed negative emotion more than likely is going to turn to anger at some point. Mm -hmm. And so what was initially felt as disappointment or felt as inadequacy or felt as um, sadness, when repressed over time and, and forced to be kept inside, is ultimately going to come out as anger. Um, and I think that's, that speaks to the importance of being able to share these things as you're feeling them. And so that idea of slowing down to speed up is this idea of taking time to be intentional and to start really working through some of those things. And, and quite frankly, for a lot of us, they may be things that have been buried for years, some decades, you know, stuff from, you know, you've been dealing with since, it, since you were a child, but never actually sat down to to think about it and talk about it and work through it. And I think the longer that you wait, the more tough it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, to really unpack those things. So that where, that's where the intentionality is met with the sense of urgency.